first times. There's a first time for everything, whether it's your first kiss, your first love, or even your first fight. Relationships are full of first, and this is our season's first episode of the award-winning Olivet Dating Game. Hello, I'm your underpaid, actually not paid at all, host Lillian Gunseth, and we hope today marks the beginning of a series of firsts for our lucky contestants. It may even lead to a first marriage. And if that doesn't work out, a first divorce followed by a first custody battle and a first restraining order. I'm kidding, of course, but who really knows? Tonight, we have three stunning contestants and one lucky bachelor. This is The Dating Game. <laughs> Um, and we're going to get to know them a little bit. So, bachelor number one, a little bit about yourself. So, I guess you speak Spanish? Si, sí, senora. Oh, snap. <laughs> wow. Okay. Can you, like, answer all your questions in Spanish tonight? Yeah, I could. Okay. But don't do that. Don't really oh. do that. And you also play the guitar as well. Yep. Do you ever, like, sit in the quad and, like, play a little music mm. for the ladies while speaking in Spanish? Well, I did once. Did it work? No. Okay, that's, <laughs> that's why you're here. Yep. Okay, perfect. Well, it's good to get to know you. And bachelor number two, so you're a fan of Marvel. Yeah. Like the comics and everything. Yeah. And who would you say is your favorite superhero? Probably Spider-Man. And why is that? He's, he's the first Spider-Man I first grew, grew to love. So okay. he's the one I grew like up him? with. I don't know if I want to be like him. Yeah. Because he lives a crazy life. Yeah. So you're you're not for the crazy life. You're regular. Yeah. But you admire Spider-Man. Yes. That's great. Yes. Awesome. Okay. Well, that's good to know. And Bachelor number three, you're into filming and everything. So who's your favorite director? Uh, I I guess I have to go with Joss Whedon. I guess. Okay. And what kind of films does he do? Uh, he did Avengers and stuff. Uh, okay, mm -hmm. we got some comic book lovers, or I guess. Prefer DC though, so yeah. I'm this guy's. Oh, wow, okay. And then, um, what's your favorite film? Uh, I like Man of Steel. Man of Steel? Mm -hmm. Okay, I feel that, all right. Okay, so it's good to get to know you guys. Um, next, we'll get to meet our bachelorette. Um, but before we do that, um, I got to go around campus and talk to all of its students and see what they had to say about dating. Take a look. Okay, what would you say is a definite dating don't? Hmm. Uh, McDonald's. Mm. Yeah. 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 Coupons. Refrain from coupons until you guys are at a good point in the relationship. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um. <laughs> don't lick your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> so, what is a dating don't? Oh, um, don't call your mom on the first date. Like, while you're on the date. That'd be really bad. Talking about your ex. Mm, definitely. And throughout the whole thing. It's definitely... <clears throat> no. I'd say a dating don't is definitely uh, chewing with your mouth open. Uh, it's just really gross, and you don't want to see that when you're on a date. Don't wear stained clothes on your dates. Welcome back. I'm here with our lovely bachelorette. How are you feeling right now? I'm super excited to get to meet all of these great guys, and I'm just really happy to be here. Okay, and what are you hoping comes from this? Um, obviously marriage. That would be the main goal. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. But point. a good first date would be a great start. <laughs> okay, that's awesome. Okay, well that's good. That's what we're all doing here. Um, and I understand you're a huge fan of Disney. Oh yeah, it's my absolute favorite. My parents would always take me there as a kid, and so I just kind of grew up loving it. 
Okay, well, before we get started with those questions, we're gonna have our bachelors say a little greeting or introduction to you. So we'll start with bachelor number one. Buenas noches, senorita. Oh! <laughs> wow! S Spanish or yeah. something, I guess. <laughs> Italian, Italian. Ethnic, very ethnic. Okay, and bachelor number two? Hey, how's it going? Okay, and Casual. bachelor number three? Wait, where's my cue cards? No, oh. no never, never mind, sorry. <laughs> I'm quite prepared. Okay, well, sorry. Okay. All right, so now that we've gotten a little introduction from them or greeting from them, we can go ahead and dive in deep to those questions, so ask away. All right, well, we're going to start off strong. This first question is going to be to all three of you guys. Would you please sing me a line from your favorite song? And we'll start with bachelor number one. Hmm. <laughs> I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Oh, oh Lord. <laughs> That's very impressive. That's nice. And I think that's in some Disney movies. So. Yeah, Tarzan, so yeah. good choice. And Bachelor number two? <laughs> Come on, you gotta be better than me. You got this. <laughs> no, the ways may pull me away. Either way, I'll stay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Not sure what song that is. That's great. But it's a try. Yeah. And bachelor number three. I love you. You love me. We're a happy family. With a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Won't you say you love me too? Oh, oh wow. Okay. That was a good one. That's pretty intense. This is the first day. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So the next question. Okie dokie. To bachelor number one, what is your ideal date night, assuming that doors have to be open, lights have to be on, and two feet on the floor? So you're talking about ideal date night in a dorm. That's your idea of an <laughs> ideal date? Following the rules, I guess. Uh, well, I guess watch a quality movie, some popcorn, you know, keep keep two feet on the floor. <laughs> okay. Respectable man. Good, okay. good choice. Yeah. All right, let's see. Bachelor number two, if you could be any Disney prince, which would you be and why? I would have to say Hans from Frozen. I know it's really cliche nowadays <laughs> because he's just, a, he's just an outdoors guy and he's got a pet reindeer. I think that's pretty awesome. Okay, yeah. Good answer. Yeah. <laughs> All right, bachelor number three. If you were a woman for a day, how would you spend your day? How would I spend my day? Uh, I'd probably just watch Netflix like I normally do. I mean, I don't know. Let's be honest, okay. though. <laughs> <laughs> well, girls do that too, so good answer. <laughs> All right, bachelor number one. If a 10-year-old kid comes up and kicks you in the shins, what do you do? What do I do? That's a good question. I'd probably wrangle him, try to find, <laughs> try to find his parent or parents. And that's it? Yep. Okay. Okay. All right. Let their parents do the rest. All right. <laughs> Bachelor number two, what tips would you give someone to survive his or her Sodexo meal plan? I would also say stay away from the pizza. Okay. Mm. Those carbs will get you. Yeah. I know. Stay away from that freshman 15. Yeah. Okay. The dessert that gets you. Mm. All right. It happens. <laughs> Bachelor number three, why did you choose to come to Olivet? Uh, well, both of my parents came here, and um, it's not the food, I'll tell you that, but um, <laughs> yeah, it just seems like a good place. Okay. okay. Bachelor One, same question. Oh, it's actually a great story. <laughs> so, so I'm taking the ACT, right? 
And you know how at the end of it, you've got to write down the numbers so that they can send it to the right school? So I write down the numbers, and I guess I wrote one down wrong. <laughs> so I get a call from all of that a couple weeks later saying, hey, come check out our school. And you know, they're big on scholarships here. So they're like, we'll give you a good scholarship. Come check it out. So I go down, and great place, decided to come here. Okay. okay, all right. All right, that's <laughs> awesome. Okay, and we have time for one more question. Okay, all right. Bachelor number two, if you had to teach a class on something for community service hours, what type of class would you teach and why? I'd have to say American history just because I'm a history nerd, especially with the different wars, especially the Civil Wars. Okay, yeah, that's mm -hmm. good. All right, so. Um, next, we get to pick who you get to go on this date to, Chicago Dough, thing. yeah, a little oh, pizza buffet okay. going on. <laughs> um, but before we do that, we do unfortunately have to pick two bachelors that just didn't quite make the cut or you didn't feel a connection with. Um, but before that, we do that, we'll just give you a little bit of time to think, okay? <laughs> who's had a lot of time to think about what she wants to do about this Chicago Doe date. Um, so um, first we're going to pick one of the two that just didn't quite make the cut. Who was the first one that you didn't feel a connection with? Unfortunately, bachelor number two, I'm sorry, things are just not going to work out. Oh. You really like history and it's honestly my worst subject. <laughs> okay, bachelor number two, head over. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> You get a hug out of it, so there you go. <laughs> All right, and who is the other bachelor that you just didn't quite feel that spark? Bachelor number three, unfortunately, you are also not going to make the cut for tonight. I'm sorry. All right. That's okay. You get to hug a pretty lady, so that's all right. Okay, and finally, bachelor number one, head on oh, over. You got the Chicago Dome date. Hey. Oh, hi. Oh, yay. <laughs> all right. So before we end the night and you guys are sent off on your date, we'll pucker up and give a good farewell <laughs> dating game kiss. We won't actually kiss, we're just gonna blow a kiss. So. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.